everybody knows Super Bowl Sunday is the holiest day of the year. Come on now, two steps back, go wide. Come on, buddy. <laughs> nice catch. How many times do I have to tell you that that is not funny? A couple more, maybe. <laughs> We all know that Super Bowl Sunday is not just about throwing a ball at Al's chest, although I love doing that. It's also about stuffing your face in front of a TV. That's right. And here to tell us about that are three players from the Detroit Lions with their favorite Super Bowl recipes. At linebacker, six foot one, 240 pounds, sporting a tuna noodle casserole. <laughs> Let's give a big hand for Chris Spielman. <laughs> Quarterback, 6'1", 200 pounds, carrying a south-of-the-border seven-layer bean dip, <laughs> Dave Craig. Oh, lady, Dave! <laughs> and certainly last, but not the smallest, a defensive end, 280 pounds, 6'4", with a secret Super Bowl stew. Kelvin Pritchett, come on out, Kelvin! <laughs> And we're in a nice throw rug, I might add. <laughs> you guys, it's, it's nice you took time out to bring some recipes in. Maybe one of these years, you get the recipe for the Super Bowl. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? I don't, I don't know. Al made me say it. I, I did not. I did not. Okay. Kelvin, can you give the audience just an example of some of the ingredients in your super secret Super Bowl stew? The two main ingredients are oysters and spam. <laughs> well, I guess the secret is why anybody want to taste that combination. <laughs> sorry, sorry, Prince. Oh, good, sorry, Prince. How many does that serve, Kelvin? One. <laughs> So, Chris, why don't you tell us some of the ingredients in your uh, tuna casserole? Well, Tim, I'm going to use the finest white chunk albacore packed in fresh spring water. Hmm? Well, perhaps you complement it with maybe a, a special type of gourmet cheese? Uh, yes, I do. Uh, the cheese in a spray can. <laughs> okay. Dave, how spicy is that bean dip of yours, buddy? That's not too spicy at all. Oh, uh, uh, that a lot. <laughs> uh, so, sorry, I lied. Uh, think of it as a quarterback sneak. Uh -huh. <laughs> well, joking aside, guys. <laughs> Who's going to come out on top this Sunday? No contest. My stew about three helpings. No way. Your stew can't handle my tuna. No, no. My beans will blow you both out of the water. No, it's no, not. No. Well, it's team rug like this, and it guarantees the Lions will never be in the Super Bowl. We'll be right back after the words from Benford Tool. wires and death. <laughs> no good can come from this. I'm just hooking up my surround sound speakers for my Super Bowl party. We're gonna go to Jeremy's and watch it on this new 70-inch big screen. Big deal. We're missing some great food. Larry's bringing a three-cheese pizza, Harry's bringing those big sausages, and Pete's bringing nachos and extra cream cheese. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Who's bringing the cardiologist? Dad, Dad, you better come see Mom. She doesn't look so good. 
Well, then why would I want to go see her? Because she's moaning real loud and calling your name. That's always been a dream of mine. <laughs> Honey? Phil, I think I'm dying. Still, I can't uh, but to put it dead. <laughs> Oh my God, it's 103. Ooh. Just threw up last night's lasagna. Boy, it tastes bad coming up. Didn't taste all that good going down. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Honey, I know how important the Super Bowl party thing is to you, but I'm really gonna need you to take care of me today. Okay. Um. Just use the intercom, call me, and I'll come up during commercials. Let me rephrase that. I don't want you to have the party today. I've been planning this for a long time. It's a tradition, honey. Never had one before. Well, traditions start someplace. Tim, I have a temperature of 103. <laughs> According to a thermometer. <laughs> Look, I'm burning up. I feel horrible. I don't want a bunch of guys over here making noise. Look, I'll, I'll take care of you. Um... You're not going to take care of me. You're going to be down there the whole time. I'll never even see you. Oh, come on. I'll show you. I'll keep those guys so quiet you won't even know they're here. Please, please, please. <laughs> oh, have your stupid party. Oh, thanks. You are hot. <laughs> Keep it down, guys. Right there. Save our tooth for the game. <laughs> well, I was thinking maybe this time we keep our tooting to ourselves. What are you talking about? Well, maybe when there's a, a big play, we all act like uh, mimes. What? <laughs> you know, I love mimes, especially when they get caught in that box. I'll stay in the box, will you? <laughs> Tim, I think I'm gonna throw up. Is Jill sick? Now she doesn't like mimes. You're having us over for a party when Jill's upstairs sick? Is she okay with that? I mean, that's not very considerate. Yeah, you're right. How are we supposed to have a good time if we can't make any noise? Yeah, why don't you call us? We could all go over to Harry's. No, we couldn't. She wouldn't let me go. So because of you, we all have to mime our way through the Super Bowl. It's not that bad a deal. Come on. We got lots of good food. We're all together. It's gonna be a great game. We have a lot of fun, all right? Yeah, but Tim, what about the surround sound you promised us? You want a real surround sound? Just sit between these two guys after a couple of sausages. <laughs> Keep it down, please. Well, Jimmy just broke three tackles. Yeah. We're very excited. Okay. <laughs> when you get excited, I'll do, do this. <laughs> I feel very uncomfortable about having a party while Jill's upstairs with the stomach flu. Yeah, I'm sick about it myself. <laughs> Toss me another sausage, will you? <laughs> well, now, come on, with your heart condition, wouldn't you rather have some of my raw vegetable medley? It's very good with this non-fat dip. Come on. Yeah, that's all I want, a little dip from a big dip. <laughs> now, come on, Larry. Larry, would you talk some sense into him? You're a doctor. I'm a neurosurgeon. As long as he doesn't put the sausage on his head, I don't care. What are you watching? Oh, it's, it's uh, Dr. Winnebago, isn't it? <laughs> Chicago. What I made for you? Jello with extra wobble. <laughs> I'm too woozy for wobbling. You just vomited, didn't you? This <laughs> helps out of your stomach. Honey, I can't. I can't eat. You need something. Well, I get credit for trying. If you need anything else, just holler. Would you give me a back rub? A what rub? <laughs> 
Yeah, I was just trying to get my wife back for us. Hold on a minute. Yo, anybody? Yo, Tim. Yeah, how much time I got? I figured 10 seconds. Gotcha. You said even though you were having those guys over, you'd still take care of me. I am taking care of you. Oh, that's good. You have such great hands. Oh, no! He coughed it up. Tim, where are you going? Somebody coughs him up downstairs. Could be Harry, could be Harry. He might be having another heart attack. He recovered. Oh, it's okay. Thank God Harry's all right. Talk to you later. Look at this. Oh, a fumble. But then only the catch of the year, Tim. Yes. Oh, man. They're on the 20 yard line and drive. Hey, hey, Tim, come on. Can we put on the surround sound? Yeah. Oh, no, no, quiet. Please, I talked about my wife. Please, come on, guys. Tim. Tim, can you bring me some more tissues? Why can't she blow her nose in the top sheet like everybody else does? Oh, wait. He's going on. Betty, turn on the surround sound just for the touchdown. Hey, hey, not too loud. Is this the one? Hey, Betty, let me guess. You hooked it up yourself? Tim, we need a TV. Come on. Hey, 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 there's got to be one upstairs. Let's go. Wait, wait. I can fix this. Right. Jill, sorry to inconvenience you. But, uh, we're at a critical juncture in the game. Could we just use your remote? Hey, come on, you guys. Listen, Jill, we're, would you? Oh, well, no, wait a minute. This is this is where Omar Sharif proposes. <laughs> Change the channel. Yeah, okay. come on. Yeah, come wait, on. Just keep, turn, turn it off. Out the score. Get him? Yeah. Yes, honey. Yeah. Yeah. Can you please speak to you under your face? Guys, after this, we're going to get out of here. Everybody. Hi, honey. I don't think what you downstairs. Yeah, that's a funny story. <laughs> I don't want to hear a funny story. You told me that if they came over here, I'd have to see them. Can you see them? <laughs> oh, I missed a touchdown. I missed everything you said. After the replay, we're getting out of here, Jill. After this, we're out of here, all right? Hey, Jill, would you like some hot sauce? And they sweat the fever right out of you. Jill, stay there. We're going to get everybody out here. Honey. 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 <laughs> Ask interesting questions, honey. <laughs> what are your theories? That you are an idiot, and I'm a bigger idiot for letting you talk me into this stuff. But this isn't all my fault. The only reason those guys went upstairs is because our TV exploded. What are the chances of that happening? In this house? <laughs> I had everything under control you down here. You are just so selfish. You only want to take care of me when it doesn't interfere with your schedule. Oh, God. <laughs> That's not true. Yes, it is true. Well, how about when you went to that hardware convention and I had laryngitis? You never said anything. Well, what about when I had my wisdom teeth out? I took care of you 100%. We did not. Brad emptied my spit bucket. Randy changed the gauze. Mark mashed my food. What exactly did you do? Someone had to get the TV guide. You were so pathetic. You know, you take better care of your car than you do me. You're taking care of the car is like taking care of you. What if you were so sick I had to drive to the hospital? Then the I am sick. <laughs> and you know what? I think that you resent me for that. You do. I don't resent you for that. I just kind of wonder why you get sick on Super Bowl Sunday. <laughs> go, go, go! Ah, okay. Oh, All right, come on, guys. Let's, let, let's go. We told Joe we'd leave after the first touchdown. Come on. We can't go now. It's just getting exciting. No, what? you got to go now. Come on. Yeah. Come on. Because Joe's got to get back in bed here, guys. All right. She can have the bed, but we get the TV. Yeah. You yeah. understand? This is not a hostage situation. Come on. Yeah. Right, over. Right. I know. We'll take the TV and set it up downstairs. No, you right. won't take it. Come on. She wants to watch the rest of Dr. Lumbago. Shivago. 
Dr. Shivago. I got another TV. Watch this thing down in the den, all right? What? Wait a minute. Wait, wait. Are you nuts? You don't expect us to watch the biggest game of the year on the world's smallest TV, do you? I even know the reception in here is great. Look at this. Huh? Huh? Touch the, look at the pass there. Look at that. Unbelievable. He must have thrown the ball a quarter of an inch. <laughs> oh, all right, that's the end of the half. What do you say we all go over to Big Mike's, watch the rest of the game over there? Yeah, yeah, yeah keep go over there. The hey. <laughs> Come on, Pete, Larry, Harry. You're not going to leave me here alone, are you? Listen, I'll stay. <laughs> now, go ahead. <laughs> Big screen TV, huh? 350, I got... I just need some batteries to throw. Come on, not now! Come on, please, please, please. Hey, yo, Wilson, you got any batteries? No. Why, I certainly do, Dan. I got C's, D's, I got nine volts. I have one made out of a potato. Regular alkaline. Idaho. <laughs> I need some double A's, four of them. Oh, Tim, I'm so sorry. I'm all out of those. Great. Perfect day. All I wanted to do today was do what every other guy's doing on this Sunday, watch the Super Bowl. Oh, is that today? <laughs> yeah, it's today, and Jill's all bent out of shape, kicked my friends out, had some guys over to watch the Super Bowl. She didn't like it because she got the flu. Mmm, you know, I've got a touch of that myself, Tim. That's why I'm boiling up some bees. Yeah, boy, I... I swear, I just heard you say boiling up some bees. <laughs> well, you know, I did. See, you steep the bees for 45 minutes in boiling water, and then you drink the liquid. It's an ancient Chinese remedy for nausea. Sounds like an ancient Chinese cause of nausea. <laughs> no, 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 Tim. It makes a very delightful bee tea. The best part is you don't have to add honey. <laughs> Maybe I should whip something up for Jill. She doesn't think I take care of her very well. Mm. Well, Tim, it's not uncommon for men to have difficulty being nurturers. Yeah, tell me about it. When I was seven years old, a, a little sparrow fell out of a tree in our backyard, and I tried to make it feel better, and I stroked his little head for four hours, you know? Oh, what happened? I think I pet it too hard. <laughs> One of the eyes popped right out. I don't know. <laughs> I buried it in a nice shoebox. At least you made the effort, Tim. Yeah. Do you have any extra uh, bees? Oh, I surely do. See, I always buy them in bulk. <laughs> I'll pay for any that I use, okay? Oh, don't worry about that, Tim. Just consider these freebies. <laughs> Feel better when you see what I got you. What did you get me? Well, going along with your doctor theme, I got Dr. No. <laughs> Let's see, uh, Dr. Doolittle, <laughs> Dr. Jekyll, and Mr. Hyde, <laughs> Dr. Naughty and the Night Nurses. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> but I also spent an hour making this special tea. It's supposed to cure nausea. I think you'll love it. It's real hot. Be careful. Be careful. Does it have caffeine in it? No. Good, because I don't want to get a buzz. <laughs> you might get a buzz. You might even get hives. <laughs> that tea's made out of boiled bees. <laughs> oh, come on. No, it's an ancient, it's an ancient Chinese uh, remedy for nausea. Wilson gave it to me. It's not easy working with bees, let me tell you. Look at that, huh? <laughs> Some of those bees were still alive. Oh, Tim. Is this your idea of taking care of me? It's better than rubbing your head for four hours and up dead in a shoebox. <laughs> Tim. All I want is for you to be attentive and comfort me. Why is that so hard for you? I don't know. I feel so useless when you're sick. When something's broken, 
I like to take it apart and fix it, but I can't do that with you. <laughs> Probably put me back together wrong. <laughs> Maybe. Probably end up with an eye down there by your knee, a nose in your eyes, and you could smell what you're looking at. <laughs> I can work on being more attentive. How's that bad? It's aching. You got a lot of knots back there. Yeah, that feels good. Mm. Hello. I can barely hear you. Hi, Benny. They won. I didn't even see it. That's great. Yeah? yeah Big Mike Super Bowl party, huh? Best one you ever been to, huh? No, I'm staying here. I'm nurturing my wife. I'm real happy. <laughs> Thanks. Bye. Thank you, honey. Yeah. Best party ever. I'm real happy. <laughs> yeah. well, honey, that's too hard. <laughs> good can come from this. Well, in that case, you can get your own breakfast. All right, cookies and ice cream. In your dreams. Mom, Mom, better come see Dad. He doesn't look so good. Then why would I want to see him? Yeah, I think I'm dying. Says I can't understand a word you said. Oh, my God, 99.1! <laughs> We're gonna have to ice you down. I like fixing things, taking things apart, you know, and I can't do that with you and fix you and take <laughs> All I want is for you to be attentive and shut up! I'm trying to work here. Oh. Kim, all I want is for you to be attentive and comforting. Why is that? <laughs> Thank you.